Me and Dave go way back. On you go. We're mutually not watching each other's things, except for we pull stuff completely out of context from each other and then talk shit about each other. So. I'm not saying I don't like it. You're using that tone. <laughs> we're getting canceled by Dave for sure on this one. And so now we're going to clip this up, and now it's going to end up on the Weekend in Review or whatever the hell that, that show is called. <laughs> This episode is presented by Whoop. Performing your best every day requires an understanding of the relationship between your physical exertion, mental load, sleep quality, general health, and your body's ability to bounce back. Optimize your training and recover with Whoop. Use code MAYHEM for 15% off at whoop.com. Use the team invite code COMM-MAYHEM to join the Mayhem Athletes community on Whoop and be included in giveaways and exclusive offers. Roll We're live that, we cut that be live. part, that first part. Oh, no, out. leave it in there. <laughs> Don't you dare. Yeah. <laughs> uh, State-run media. <laughs> Don't you dare. Um, yeah. All right. What are we talking about? Are we here because of the Open? Yeah. Yeah, man. The this Open started. Scott, this is Scott's doing, isn't it? Yep. But, but, but well, actually, so, uh, and let's start with Scott and his team, his amazing team. Um, YouTube is hot right now. Um, the mayhem YouTube is well, hot. Well, because we knew the workout ahead of time. <laughs> Someone according, said that? According to the internet. They're like, this is suspiciously fast. I was like, yeah, it's almost like we have a dedicated media team to get the, <laughs> the videos out as fast as we can. Or it's almost like they really, like, it's like the person didn't know that it wasn't 5 p.m. anymore yeah, in, on yeah. the West Coast, you know? It was like, this is it was 1 p.m. when the workout came out. And by, what, what time did you, two, sorry. What time did you guys get four, those videos out by? 4.30. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. And so we've got uh, BTS. You've got all the athletes and the reactions. Um, you got your full workout yeah, plus yeah. Mountain Ops giveaway. Is that done? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to select somebody, huh? Oh. Oh, sweet. Okay. I didn't so announce do you, it. Do we know? What? Do you know their name by any chance? Uh, I pinned the comment on the video. I think his name's Kyle Reed, maybe. Okay. All right. Yeah. He's got to send Kyle a Reese. DM to MM Athlete. I'm going to get Kyle his Reese and address to Jake hmm. Powers. Sweet. Okay. Um, so want a froning bundle? We'll be doing that for every single week, right? So we'll be doing a giveaway. So you guys keep uh, keep a watch. Every week, Rich, we'll do the workout. We'll get to that later. Well, yeah, it kind of depends on this old lat I got going on here. Oh yeah, it is old. Um, Kyle Reese is the the main character in Terminator. It's Kyle Reese. I know, but I, know. I just oh, said Kyle Reese. Reese. Shut okay. up! It's my show. I can say what the hell I want to. <laughs> you confused me. I thought I was saying it wrong. No. Um, <laughs> he came back in time to win a Froning bundle <laughs> and stop the Terminator. Speaking uh, of that, hold on. Sidebar. Uh, did you see this? It says, somebody sent it to me. It's the, the in quotations, dad in 1995 who thinks his kid is ready to see an R-rated movie even though they're only 10 years old starter pack. <laughs> Terminator 2. <laughs> that was my favorite movie. <laughs> I was eight. Uh, Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger's Demolition good Man. Die Hard. True Lies. Under Siege. Pretty sure I've seen all, f or seen four of the six when I was that age. Yeah, I think those are all appropriate. <laughs> Have you <laughs> watched then. Terminator Two now? Yeah, every other word's an F word. Oh, it explains <laughs> a lot now. Oh, okay, you know? all right. <laughs> but it's funny, like from a blood and gut standpoint. Oh yeah, it's nothing. We watched. Um, uh, we've been watching Masters of the Air. Yeah, you're telling Apple. me. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dope. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's about World War Two B seventeen bombers, like the three forty nine, three fiftieth. First it's episode was a little, a lot of character building, a little bit. They did have a pretty good action scene, though. Yeah, they all have. Every yeah, episode yeah. has had a pretty good action scene, and yeah. they're like, it's the same <laughs> crew. Band of Brothers, like Tom, yeah, they did Band of Brothers, like Tom mm -hmm. Hanks and and all. So these far, it's really good. It's uh, yeah, the kids good. have been watching it, and Hillary's like, wait, they don't need to watch this, and I'm like, they need to see this. Like, so Gus is 13, and he he wanted to watch uh, Deadpool. I was like, ah, Ooh. dude. I like, I, and yeah. I, honestly, like, I'm a huge Ryan Reynolds fan, but like, I'm not a huge fan of Deadpool. Like, it wasn't really? not really. Yeah. Um, it compared oh, like if you compare it, it to place. if you compare it to like other superhero movies. Yeah, yeah it's got. Yeah, its, place. it's not a superhero. It's not. In it's my not mind. I mean, like, it's a. It is a superhero movie, but it isn't. Yeah. It's more of just like Have a comedy free guy? action. Yeah, Free Guy's. Free awesome. Guy's great. Yeah. I've seen. He's so good. I love. Give me the basis on it because I feel he's a video game character and he's an avatar. He's like a NPC. NPC. Yeah. And he doesn't know it. Yeah, and then he figures it out. He comes becomes self aware, basically. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, even his Instagram, like he's always it's it's almost all commercials because yeah. he owns like Cricket Wireless yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But they're still awesome. Like I'll still watch every yeah, single one. Like yeah, like He's funny. Um, but anyways, yeah, we got we got like Travis two. Kelsey. Why what? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we got like two minutes in, and 
like my daughter left the room immediately. Yeah. <laughs> she just didn't like it's it. It's a little gory. And then we were like, yeah, maybe we'll find something else. Um, <laughs> all right, 13. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it'd be 14 next week. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. It's fine. Like, I wasn't concerned about it. Yeah. It was just sort of like, eh, yeah. Um, workout demo with commentary. We've also got, were you on that one? I'm sorry, I didn't watch it. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, yes and no. Yes and I no. I introed the video, right? Okay. Yeah, you introed. And then Dom was the moderator Dom was for Nina and Phil. Dom's got some knowledge bombs, man. Yeah. Really enjoy what he has to say. And then, uh, of course, tips and tricks video, too. So all that same stuff, anything else? Be, that'll be coming out again this week, right? Yeah, same thing. The only the only thing is if Rich doesn't do the workout, if his if his lat allows or okay. doesn't allow. And then it'll just be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Good, cool. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, uh, good job. That was... Uh, amazing as always, well but done, team. yeah, well Insert done. clapping. Yay. Yeah, that's clap track. You don't know which button know. that is. We, we need to number them. Watch, he's gonna hit like a fun, 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 fun. That's it. Is hey, that hey, way to go. All right, nice. <laughs> um, Remember that next time. I wish we could hear it. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, like I didn't even realize you guys <laughs> can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, equally as important to me, the uh, the heart of mayhem too. Yep, dropped. Summer. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, it was really. They're doing cool. like a little follow up too. Or through the open? See, I was going to say that. I didn't know oh. if it was like a spoiler Oops. alert, right? So, like, you know, no, go no, watch we it. Can, but we can talk about it. About okay, so it effect- effectively it builds up to Summer's story was, um, I thought it was really cool because we talk about this all the time. She like, didn't even know Mayhem was in Cookville. Didn't know Mayhem was in Cookville, and she was, uh, they did a great job of showing her, like, intimidated walking into the gym. Yeah. So she really represented that that kind of crew. Um, but, uh, yeah, crescendos to her. Um, this is like a regular gym member. There's people that come to the gym that aren't like. Dana. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and it, but it crescendos and she signs up for the open. So yeah. uh, what are we doing? We're following her th- experience through the open, right? Yeah, Josh uh, Gunkler, he's following, like he was with her when they announced the first workout. Or he'll be with her as they announced the first workout, her and her family, following to the gym, her whole warm-up, workout, post-workout each week, kind of showing the experience of someone going through the open for the first time. That's cool. And it was funny, uh, so the first workout – she she finished the workout like right into the time cap and everyone was like yelling at her go 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 and she gets done and when she signs the the sheet it says a number like a time number and she thought she was trying to just get as many reps as she oh, could that's cool. and they're like no we were yelling at you to f- to finish <laughs> and she thought she was just trying to get as many <laughs> reps as she could yeah. but she finished like five or six seconds under the cap sweet wow. yeah rx spoiler alert again you know it's a good it's a Dang good it, scott <laughs> well you can check that you can check the leaderboard i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah it's true it's a good m30 workout I'm so i feel like she was pretty used to that stuff yeah yeah it was definitely an m30 workout mountain ops has combined my two biggest passions fitness and the outdoors as well as sourcing quality ingredients mountain ops supplements has helped me get the most out of my training sessions in and out of the gym if you want to start taking your results seriously i've put together a bundle of mountain ops products new and returning customers save 20% on their purchase when you visit mountainops.com and use the code FRONING. That's M-T-N-O-P-S dot com, code F-R-O-N-I-N-G. So, yeah, huge shot to Josh Gunkler. Um, he's doing great with those. Um, and it's a big kind of, you know, Rich called the last year and was just like, hey, we should highlight. People forget that we have this amazing community. <laughs> and yeah. Huge, oh, gym. huge gym, yeah. dude. Where uh, It's my favorite thing, like uh, even – Shoot, even yesterday, like when that door comes up between the Mayhem Athlete Facility and you're walking through and you're like watching the heavy hitters go and then you walk in and there's like the gray hair class going on yeah. and a regular class. It's just, it's a, it's a really cool um, example. Or on a do. Wednesday night when you have the kids, the gray mm-hmm. hairs, the regular CrossFit class and the elite athletes yes. all going at the same time fighting for space. On the 100%. turf, yeah. yeah. Everyone's <laughs> fighting for space on the turf. Yeah. I guess we just need to expand, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> need to open that swim center no, but across actually, the street. Scott has been Scott wants a media office. No, I'm talking about the gym space. Ben oh. and I have to fight for real estate every night. <laughs> well, come work out in the barn. A little bit of a hike. It's on Scott's way home. Do people still work out here? Like who who still comes regularly? Greg. The team time cap. <laughs> time cap, Greg. yeah. Yeah. Uh Sam's at State Trooper School. Okay. So he's not here right now. Dusty's usually with him. So it's a little bit lonely up here. Yeah. 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 Every once in a while when it's nice out, the, you know, everybody wants to come up, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bailey and Gee have been up here a little bit. Tyler. Yeah. They're always like, hey, can we go up there? I'm like, you never had to ask before. 100%. Yeah, 100% you know, yeah. like, it's great weather for it. Go for it. Awesome. 
Um, cool. And then one, like, uh, one promotional. We've been dancing around for a long time. We've tried things in the past for prepared meat that didn't really taste good. Yeah. And cardboardy. Yeah. And so now we're, um, we're dancing around with just meats and yep. it's been pretty. Yeah. It's awesome. We, yeah. The, our intro to it was Angelo's, uh, bachelor, was your bachelor weekend, I sure. guess. We just cast iron skillet, threw a bunch of meat in the, uh, skillet over the fire and it was delicious. It was good. So it was really good. Yeah. We, um, looking forward to that one. It's, um, it's cool cause they have a bunch of different cuts of meat and a bunch of different kind of seasonings and stuff like that. And there's not a ton of stuff in it. Yeah. So it's easy. You just kind of prepare your own carbs. It'd be great for meal prep, obviously, but the kids eat it and love it too. Hillary likes it. So it makes it easy. And they're doing, um, so next time there's a bachelor party, um, hopefully it's not yours, obviously, but, um, <laughs> they, uh, in, I think it's in two months, they'll be launching to where like you could buy enough for a party, Oh wow! you know, and that's, that's cool. when there's going to be a collaboration with Froning Farms. So they get, they're going to be a whole Froning Our Farms bison line stuff. of bison yep. products yep. through just meat. So dang too bad. It won't be ready for those, uh, the mountain burns I know. where we're building those food plots. Oh yeah. We're going to camp out, but the kids have to build their own shelter to sleep in. Love it. <laughs> Love it. The kids like they're Angelo or you mean like the kids, no, kids, kids, yeah. kids. <laughs> It's going to be a blaze. Yeah, it's going to be a hot fire. You Are you overseeing that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Unofficially. Um, so anyways, you guys will hear a lot more about that, but um, it is live now. So you guys, so if you're going to do a subscription, you're going to get 25% off your first order. And then if you use Rich's code link, which is justmeats.com slash discount slash froning, and we'll put that in the description, you get another $15 off and then you'll still get like every single time on future subscriptions, you get another 10% off. So, um, affordable on top of being what delicious. kind of meats can I expect to get from just meats? Dude, there's brisket, carne asada, chicken. Yeah. They're pork. like, there's like Hawaiian pork. There's that's the other thing I like is <laughs> they're like, they, they mix up the flavors. Like, so they're always, they're always adding new flavors. Mm. And it um, comes with like a little marinating pack. So you could let it sit even yeah. longer in the marinade or cook it with the marinade yeah. or do you just throw some sauce? It, it's, it's solid. And you know, like chicken is usually just chicken, but they had um, a buffalo chicken that was really good. And then uh, the, the skirt steak with chimichurri was dope. And then I don't know what the flavors would be for the bison, but excited for that too. Yeah. Yeah. The brisket's awesome. Um, like I said, the carne is good. Uh, the Hawaiian pork. I think that was the one, one of the ones we had at your. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. We ate a lot of meat that bad. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't really drink any alcohol. That's not why you can't remember. But <laughs> That's yeah, not why I, it was delicious I, either. Uh, I took like three or four deer shots too. of We did Jack. have some deer heart too. Yeah, we had deer heart. Oh, yeah, we you just and had, Sam were well, sneaking off. <laughs> well, I didn't know what meat we were eating because you would open it up and it'd just be in the skillet. And I'm like, man, this is good. Yeah. Just keep eating on it. Just throw some butter in there and then. And then I go, I go do a shot of Jack and I come back. Cool. Um. And then there's a new colorway in the froning. Yeah, two new colorways, right? Two new colorways. White. The white is and nice. Then the 90s throwback, I guess, or Wadapalooza throwback. Yep. That was a little late, but. Some neon. Huh? Some neon, like yeah. some neon and black. Yeah, and my, my style for sure. That was like the, well, you like, the, I guess maybe you only like the high top. Whenever I like they the, high the high tops. Top, yeah. Just the high tops, man. Yeah. Those high tops were awesome. What were those called? The. the Nano Unknown. Unknown, oh, that's yeah. it. Um. All right, that's all my promos. That's all I got for promos. Um, so we could nerd out on leaderboarding. We talked about the workout. How about the workout? How about the workout first? I know we made a lot of videos about it, but like, I would be interested to hear. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it was it's a for a workout that's very entry level. Get everybody involved. Let let a lot of people do it. RX, great. Um, couple, you know, it was just it's not a workout I want to do after 13, 14 years of competing. I'm like. Really? Yeah. That's what we came up with. Yeah. But um, I think, like we said, if, it, if the goal was to get as many people as we can to do it and do it RX, then heck yeah, it was fun. Um, super easy for an affiliate, too. Super yeah. easy for an affiliate. <laughs> uh, yes yes, and no. I mean, saw a lot of jumping around dumbbells yeah. on videos that I saw. Not what at our on? place, but just... What do you mean? Burpee well, over it's a very dumbbell. very easy. Is, just oh, skirt, oh, the skirt the dumbbell. Uh, I thought you, I saw, I thought you meant though. the dumbbell was jumping saw around. saw a lot of dumbbells out to the old side mm -hmm. here. Uh, speeding up the range of motion, but you know, it's just, a uh, with that weight at those rep, like it's, you can move it so fast. Dare I say it, dare I say Go it. Go say it. No, Maybe. any AOA workout. That's what we'll just <laughs> yeah. say. You guys yeah. can read into that however you want to, but we call those AOA workouts. <laughs> ha but having said that, 
I, I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> as go usual. Ahead. Well, yep. I just like defend it. No, and, uh, I won't fine. defend it. That's I'll just fine. argue out of both sides of my uh, mouth. I, like, still, the leaderboard is yeah. the leaderboard, yeah. right? Um, Which I know nothing about. No, you know anything about? No, <laughs> I know nothing about the leaderboard. I'll tell you about it then. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it it did sort out. Um, of uh, like so so for men, for example. Of last year's top ten at the CrossFit Games, one, two, three, five, five of them were in um, were at the top of this leaderboard uh, for for this particular workout. Um, the exceptions were Adler, Roman, Fikowski, uh, Lazar, and Yella Haste. Yella, Yella. Um, but so you know, I mean, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, basically, anything sub six was one the top one yeah. percent. Oh, yeah. It was and even one hundred percent. How fast you could cycle the dumbbell and how hard you wanted to go on the burpees. How fast, if you wanted to hurt on the burpees. I did it to do it. And I got, I think I did the 21 stepping up, you know, the little like sidestep over, which is, I can do burpees for days like that. Yeah. They're not fast. They're not slow. They're just whatever. That's what uh, Adler did. And, he and then I got to the 15s and was like, oh, I'm going to start jumping. I did three. <laughs> and I was like, nah, nah. I'm good. <laughs> this is just, you know, it is what it is. So it was, uh, yeah, I mean, from my experience, it just it was just a workout. It was know? a it was felt like a very much like a conditioning workout. Yeah, Ish, no yeah. matter what your level was, it was like it just seemed. I guess there, of course, like some people had to break the dumbbell, probably right, right. But like for for people that did not, it was like how how fast you how could quickly cycle. could you cycle, cycle and or, how much or, did you want to hurt on the burpees? That was yes. it. How could you? It like, was a burpee workout yeah. with like I said, in and you know in our crew i called it from the beginning i was like tyler christopher has the fastest time in our oh, group oh yeah smash he's burpees a, he's the dumbbell. fastest dumbbell cycler i've ever seen in our group and incredibly fast at burpees and sure enough smashed everybody sorry this is off off topic scott i should have brought in that 20 pound mug and drank out of it <laughs> <laughs> can't drink out of it uh, the what the rogue one yeah he well yeah. Uh, 22 we're, pounds we're 22 10, kg. 10 kilo we were talking about it at work cuz i said that he got one and then um, I was explaining to you, like, almost cannot drink out of it. Yeah. And the guys like, at work were like, dude, no way. I could, I could do it. And so I was like, hey, you mind if I bring it to work? Let's, let me see if these guys can use it. So I have it in my truck. I should have brought it in here and just had my coffee. And yes. I put it behind here and just picked it up and started drinking out of it. It's got, like, a, like a sheath, right? Yeah. Like, you gotta pull it's out. got, like, the, the, the anvil is what it's called. Okay. It's another 10 kilos. Sorry, off topic. Which um, young man over here wasn't able to pull out with one hand. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. You did it Maybe. first though. Yeah, you did it first. <laughs> I just, um, I just, I just need someone slick to do it. it is. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to gonna drop it in your counter. You gotta chalk up before you drink yeah. coffee. <laughs> um yeah, it's uh Tyler, six fourteen, so that was good enough for eighty third in the world. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. It, and and just but, but See keep, that's what I don't <laughs> love. I'm sorry. Well no, hold on, but but keep in mind like uh, there were so many ties. That's what I'm saying. That's why yeah. I. That's why I don't like workouts like this. There's so many yeah. ties. They've got to figure that out in the open. I don't. My opinion. Just my opinion. Yeah. No. 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 Sorry for my tone. Let me bring it down. <laughs> no. I. Uh, I'm just I, gonna keep apologizing for my. I tone. don't. This workout is fine for the open. I think it's a fine workout in general. Uh, with the three. It's a great workout if you're traveling and you need a gym and you have a good hotel gym <laughs> with, with, with the, dumbbells. With the three test open. Depending on what they're looking for out of the open, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Like last year, the third workout, like I feel like evened out the open pretty well. The, yeah. the scoring on the thruster was stupid. I won't even talk about it. Uh, the scoring on the thruster ended up being stupid, but that last workout really evened out the open. I felt like I kind of brought it together as a whole. So this workout on its own is like, ah, that's not really that good of a test. But yeah. when you see it all, all Overall, three workouts of the open, it may be a good test. Like it may, mm -hmm. it may all kind of equal out. So and I just actually, don't think it was groundbreaking. No, no, it was okay. very, it was very just vanilla. Yeah. yeah. And here's something I don't understand is it, once we go from open to semis quarters, quarters, um, is the slate wipe clean? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're right. back to zero. Yeah. Okay. So, you just so make it it's fine. Zero. So here's I mean, why, here's why do you guys like when you say like, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't because no, it doesn't matter at all. Here's, here's, this is from preliminary for beyond the whiteboard. Anything sub seven minutes and 30 seconds was 99th percentile. Ooh, still there. And so, but, but even with my 11 minutes and 16 seconds, you were still like I was, 60th percentile? I was in the 75th. So 75th? like, oh, so still, you're still in a qualifying spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That a lot of people are doing the same. I, the I mean, quarterfinals just, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. I get it. Like, yes. As a money grab, right? Watch your tone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. It does. Like, it does. Too, it does do I this, though. It does. This. Like, I guess it but takes, it does it takes the logistics away from 
having to come up with workouts that are like yeah accessible accessible know, third so movement if I'm, if I'm building a workout and i guess until I'm, we, I'm until heating we, up over here. Until we <laughs> start to heat up over here. I'm sweating, here. sorry. Until we see the, the overall <laughs> test, yeah, like, yeah. It, it's going to be fine. Yeah. I just don't like workouts that reward the same type of athletes on both movements. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it it's one workout. It's fine. Yeah. But I just, when I, because I like to geek out on it. I like to, yeah. like, look at a workout and be like, all right, how do we... How do we make it not even? You don't want to make it even, but yeah, how do yeah. you make it a good test Balanced. in one workout? Right. Balanced. That's not what we're trying to do. Yeah. I just get my head so wrapped up, and I'm like, this is stupid. Yeah. Cause, because whoever's good at a 50 pound dumbbell snatch is probably good at burpees, yeah. you yeah. know? And so at least, at least it eliminated the like seven minutes of burpees guy that you called out, you know? Like, they're just not, it's not just, a, it? it's not a gymnast who doesn't do any kind of CrossFit. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, mm, looking I'm at. Just kidding. Looking at the leaderboard, who actually. Won? Who won? Sorry. I well, know. it's funny you ask. Colton. Uh, what's Colton that? Mertens. Yeah, we know. Well, well techni- technically, currently on the leaderboard, <laughs> well, Mitchell Anderson is in first with a time of four minutes and 18 seconds. Yeah. Hell. It's did one of those high break that? mistakes. <laughs> He's got a video was, attached uh, to it. Colton's? <laughs> 519. Yeah, I mean. So there was a 21 ah. second difference between him and Taylor Self. So what? I think oh there was a 21 second difference so between him and, and How tall is Taylor Self? He's our side. No, he's he's a, he's a little shorter. He looked like he standing be, next to he did it with Dallin Pepper. Yeah. He looked like he was almost as tall as Dallin. It's crazy impressive. Okay. Dallin impressive. did oh, yeah. sub six. No, he went hard. With his it was size crazy. Too. Yeah, it was he threw, awesome. He threw up. Oh heck yeah, <laughs> yeah. He went under the he broadcast is, really afterwards. Fit. I he feel like, bad when I finished it. And I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that was a minor inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, he was he was mid broadcasting. He would just projectile vomit. <laughs> afterwards, <laughs> he was talking on Sevon's thing. Nice. Yeah. All right. I liked that. I liked Mitchell Anderson's video though. What is it? What's the video? It's just a regular old affiliate, and he's just a regular old dude doing it. I don't know how he messed up his time. He put, 14, he put his he put his tiebreak time in. Uh, I bet that's yeah, what happens. Yeah. Every, happens all yeah, every time it's someone puts time. their tiebreak time as their yeah. actual time. Or it could have been fourteen eighteen because he was like probably I thought he was about thirty seconds under the cap. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> these guys yeah, could have been so there like, oh man, man he's getting in. all kind of hate. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. people yeah. are like, you suck, you're a cheater, no way. You know, and then yeah. the poor guy's like, I just forgot to hit a one. It's my first, it's my first open. I'm sorry. CrossFit community is great. I noticed on on speaking of that on the leaderboard, you suck, sugar water. You should die. They're like, be there people who put their time and they put in zero 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 i'm sure you guys have seen this too they'll put in zero 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 whatever and then underneath in the notes they put in their time and henry was like getting after some of them he's like hey put your time here mm. <laughs> it was good like all right get him henry uh, uh so and then just to the point of the ties so one second this is a good example for you one second costs a crazy amount so a 625 versus 626 would be the difference between 168th place and 186th place. Because yeah. so many people got 625, 626, like that whatever. Thruster last year. I don't, yeah. No, no, no. The thruster was different. It was oh, worse. Really? It, was, it worse. was worse, yeah. I can't remember why. I do I do remember there was a reason. <sighs> yeah, you did, a, you did a whole it. thesis on it. I your did. doctorate thesis on it. I did. It made me want to freak What about for the ladies? My head against um, And just broke... All the mayhem athletes look like they did fantastic. Um, sub six thirty two ish. Um, Sam and Jorge tied, and um, down there in five thousand two hundred fortieth place was a time of seven fifty one. Our man Ben Davidson. Oh Ben, mm-hmm. Ben, was that the? Yeah. Is that went, still top twenty five percent? Gosh, I hope so. Did you do it once or twice? That's still almost top. Once. Na- that's almost ninety nine percent up. He was gonna. Do, oh yeah. yeah. He was gonna do it again that night. After he'd worked out yeah. a couple times. Yeah. Well, I like, so I told Cobb before I even did the work, I was going to do it with him at Friday Night Lights. Oh. But he wanted to do it at 6.50 at night. And I was like, dude, I can't That doesn't even, happen anymore. No, I can't do that anymore. I'm, I'm like taking my my slumber at that point. Oh, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to, to start yeah. shutting down. Oh, yeah. I, was, I walked out before he even got there. Yeah. I'm um, too old for that. Yeah. I was in bed at 7.47 last night. Yep. I didn't go wow. to bed, at the, but I was like in bed playing Just wait Game till Boy you have kids. at seven forty. Yeah, that's what my kids do too. <laughs> 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 I just bought a new Game Boy and I've been playing the crap. Hey, out fun of it. fact: I th- besides the year I had the flu, I did the open the flu the, open. Yeah, th- flu that open. was my worst open finish in seven years. This one was. Yeah. Is that because oh, you're training was, or was mine? No, I think just got, I'm just slow. <laughs> just I'm just I'm not fast at burpees. Ben is one of our alternates this year. I told him, well, he no, doesn't have anything to worry about. Don't say that. I didn't, I didn't we're use the I can't now. be your alternate. Yeah, we're, Sorry, man. 
Don't worry. We we got other people other than oh, Ben. Right. I told him I needed sub seven twenty to be our alternate. Sorry, man. And he didn't hit it, so we're gonna take. <laughs> I didn't have else. it. What you Who's haven't had alternate? to you haven't had to um, say who your alternate is yet. No, you, you, put, you can you load can, your yeah, roster with like a thousand people. Up. So we have okay. Oh, son of a. But they have to be associated <laughs> by now. You just, yeah. realize you, you just realize you made a big mistake. I just realized I didn't add Nate to it, which is <laughs> fine, just fine, because he probably wasn't going to do it anyways. Ben was more of, was more of our option. I, Nate did say he would do it, so um, Ben is your alternate. No, no, no. I have another one, Troy. Uh, he Troy's just, good. He just moved to the gym. He beat the crap out of Ben, so <laughs> yeah, he's most he likely going to be our. Alternate. Hey, hey, easy. He's like five six. What he went next like to Tyler. 40? Dude, he smashed you though. Yeah, he smashed you by me. Minute. Yeah, I'm not I like it. I could have went right next to him on my best day, and I'm not in 640. I'm not even gonna <laughs> no, lie. No, no, no. But I didn't. Even, I haven't even asked him, so I guess I would ask him. You're the only person, the only male that I've asked who said yes. You didn't put everybody on there. So you didn't even ask Troy. You just put him on there. Yeah, I just put him on. Oh there. yeah. He'll probably he'll probably say he'll yes. And then uh, Nina's our girl. She did good. She did the demo. I need right? to check real quick. Yeah. Oh, got you thinking, bro. <laughs> I need to make sure. Um, I put everyone <clears throat> but here's back to your like hey, those morons that can't put the uh, score in on the leaderboard correctly. This moron here can't even <laughs> put his team together. <laughs> oh my gosh! Back to your uh, angels now. going individual this year because he didn't even set the team. I'm gonna throw up right. <laughs> really stressing out. <laughs> look at, I think look I those beads of sweat pouring off of. <laughs> hey, oh there's like gosh. three years we didn't even have an alternate. You're good. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm making sure I have my actual team on here. Oh shit, Angelo. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> Well, you heard it here first. Angelo's retired. <laughs> um, but back to your AOA thing. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is the women are different than this, but like it, it warms my heart that I recognize most of the names in the top ten. Yeah, they're they're CrossFitters and not just you know. I mean, isn't gymnast. everybody on that list supposed to be a CrossFitter? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean that whole leaderboard. Technically, they're CrossFitters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, again, like it's an extreme example. But the seven minutes of burpees, there was a dude who won it who was a random gymnast in. Russia? Russia. Was he? Yeah. I think he was from Russia, right? Yeah. He's like a, some type of, yeah. Eh. Yeah. What could happen if you committed one year to better nutrition? The RP Diet app provides a virtual nutrition coach and a year of nutrition guidance for less than $8 a month. Take the guesswork out of your nutrition, head over to rpstrength.com, and use the code FRONING for a year of the RP Diet app for only eighty nine ninety nine. Recover faster, breathe easier, and increase your endurance with Airwave's scientifically proven performance mouthpiece. If high-intensity or interval-style training is your sport, try their patented endurance mouthpiece. I opted for the Mayhem 2-pack with one of each. For podcast listeners only, save 15% of your purchase at airwave.com forward slash froning. That's airwave.com forward slash froning. Um, all right, women. Um, I, I, so I don't recognize these except for number uh, fourth place was Fisa Gaffey. Um, she went sub six, five, five, two. Um, the one, the girl who won, I think you say Miriam or you say it Mir Jam, which would be a weird name. M I R J A M. <clears throat> so we'll call it Miriam Van Roar, five thirty nine. Uh, didn't compete last year, but fifty fourth in the world in the open in twenty twenty two. And nice. um, yeah, so and she looked like a crossfitter, like she looked. Um, she looked look a legit athlete. Um, sounds like she's like one of your distant relatives, you know, Vander Sloot. What was yeah. her name? It, she's uh, uh, Miriam Von, Von, Von Rohr oh. from yeah, Switzerland. Yeah, she could be. Yeah. Where, where are you? Like, what's your heritage? Spies. Well, the weird thing is my name is Dutch, technically. Dutch. Ah, but that's Dutch. not what my that's not what my lineage is, you know? Yeah. So I don't know how that how that all worked out. What is your lineage? Greek and Italian, mostly. <clears throat> your something in that family tree. You filthy wop. Don't dig too deep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You find out something you don't want to know. I can say that. Oh, yeah, you are one, huh? Did you see uh, Cara Saunders on the first page of the leaderboard? No. Yeah, I looked this morning. She was, uh, where is she? 32nd. Let's go, Cara. Thunder Down Under, is that their team name? Maybe. Something? Yeah, we got two Aussie teams. Oh, speaking of... In the uh, behind the or in the uh, behind the scenes, you called out Royce, and you're like, "There's no way that he's going to beat me." And he did. He just smashed. No, you. no, I didn't say there's no way. It's like he took you by thought, the hair and just, just really smashed your face in the table. He did. He destroyed me. I'm pretty sure everyone's on my team. I'm not worried about it. Um, <laughs> he he makes me so mad. How does he do that? He's so big. How it's do you a, do burpees so fast? It's very unlikely. He's so big, and he he's just, no spring chicken anymore he just either. Wanted like, it more than you. He, he did. How old is Royce? Is he in his 30s? 31, 31 32, yeah. maybe. Yeah. He's not as old as me. 
Yeah, no one's as old as you. You're old as shit. It's true. I mean, Somebody yeah. said uh, Hello. something about <laughs> on the comments, something about the the vitriol <laughs> coming out of the. You could see the vitriol coming. I guess joking because on the post I made about Dave. Yeah. Basically, and I was like, no, that's Geritol. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, but yeah, I was talking. I was talking crap Royce about thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah, I was talking crap about him. But you guys, uh, I can't really see Scott's head because of this light. <clears throat> but I do like you guys being at that test. It looks way more official. I can look you in the eyes now. <coughs> Hot. How did um? So uh, Paige did great. <laughs> Bailey did great. They're all seven seven oh two. Um, how did all the youngsters do? I didn't stick around. Youngsters. Like our new athletes who came kind of like with Dom. The and ones that have names? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Jess, Nina, Nate. Nate. Um, it's not Nina, obviously. Yeah. Nate said... Were you there on the day we did the bike, tow to bar, snatch? Yeah, you were there, but you guys did box jump, right? Yes. On Wednesday. Yes. Did you see Nate Nate started sprinting. Out? Oh, he came out hot. Him and Troy yeah. were ahead of me and Seth through, I think, like seven rounds, and I think <clears> we caught them by a person wow. we caught them and almost lapped them sorry i should say <laughs> <laughs> he went just hot. i was like okay here we go dom said and then through six i'm i'm thinking all right all right it was impressive good. yeah no <laughs> <laughs> nate i think threw up like it was okay it was awesome uh that's a good feeling dom too probably when that, you see uh, that moment where he, he just kind of cracks and you're like you oh see, uh, gotcha here it comes <clears throat> dom said that he uh would like almost use nate as an experiment to get him as strong as possible and so he extended his strength program as long as he thought he possibly possibly could and still help him qualify for the games hopefully and so he said he did this nate felt like crap after this first open workout like about his fitness he's like dude it, well one it doesn't matter but you're trying you're trying to tell a kid he's 20 probably try trying to tell him that it doesn't matter and he's looking at his score on the leaderboard he's like dude what the f and he did it with tyler who been beat him by almost exactly a minute <laughs> but like tyler's great at That's it it's his workout and like you just said, I think Nate got seven ten, which is more than incredible. Fine. Yeah. So yeah, I think the only better workout that could have came out for Tyler is wall balls and thrusters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, heavy, heavy yeah. thrusters. Yeah, heavy thruster wall and heavy a wall thruster. ball workout. And Tyler, yeah. those are the only two oh, yeah. other movements just that Tyler would just so good. Um, yeah, I think um, everyone did. Everyone did good. Like it's fine, it's, whatever. Yeah. They just have to beat you. Better right? than good enough. Better they just have to beat way you. Way better than good enough, yeah. yeah. You're the standard from now yeah, on. Yeah, you're the standard. That's you're going right. to have to do the workout, and you're oh, the standard man. 25%. Look, this is what I was going to say. All I right, thought about this go. yesterday. Yep. Like, I under, I don't I don't hate the 25% people going to quarterfinals. Jen just got closer. <laughs> 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 I don't hate the idea of the 25% going to the quarterfinals. That's fine. That kind of makes sense. Like, the top quarter goes to quarterfinals, whatever. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's. I'm sure they're gonna quarter post like that. But finals. like, just say, just say it's kind of a money grab. Like, <laughs> just say you want to get more people through and and kind of make more money off of it. It's fine. I would still, I would still be like, okay, yeah, they're being honest about it. But it's like it feels like that's what it is. Am I the only one who sees it that way? Just like Brad Allen, you know, <coughs> when Decker didn't report, he should have just said, "Hey, man, I messed up." But yeah. then you try to hide it. You know, all you gotta do is say, "Hey, I messed up." Yeah, they're not messing up. I was kidding. I just um, wanted to impl insert that and still like tell everybody I'm upset about it. There, there's two ways to look at it. There's a lot of ways to look at it. The two ways I, you can see it is it looks like a money grab. It's cool for the other people who couldn't make the top ten percent and they still get to compete in quarterfinals and make it that next step. But it also sucks for the people who are like right on the line and just made it to quarterfinals last year or was right on the line and didn't make it and they trained. All year to, to try to get now they get to make it. I'm fine with it. I think it's cool. I think it gives <laughs> I think you it's fine, it's, but it gives those people that wouldn't normally have a like competition experience. Like the open is yeah. is now a competition not, not experience a, for it them. Used to be more so, and you know it gets everybody to kind of be a part of the community. But this gives people like how many days is it? Six days long now, though. It used to be like three or four, yeah. and I get that they extend it for the the everyday people the way they can get all the workouts in, but it gives them, you know, Hey, I get a, a taste of four workouts, five workouts in a week or whatever it is. And it gives them, I'm fine. Let's with ask, it. let's ask Josh Malone. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> Josh Malone, who's got to, you know, had do the logistics yeah. of all that. It's going to suck. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but oh, I think yeah. it's cool. I'm, I'm a hundred percent fine. with I it. Do. And, I and it yeah. takes, and here's my thing is it takes less emphasis off of the open, yeah. which I think is yeah. a poor hmm. test. 
for sure for what three getting people now. to the cross it does two things it takes less emphasis off it for you guys but and then it makes it a lot more what it's supposed to be yeah, for like be. And I'm, friday I'm night lights 100 percent, and yeah. i'm so i'm okay with it i think it is yeah, it is a money grab. Who cares? Like, well, and by hey, the way, here's the deal. That's a, do I don't we, care about it. Do we I just want? Wanna, do we want the CrossFit be... Games to be better? 100. percent So what does that take? More money. Exactly. So I'm not why? saying I don't like it. I'm just you're saying, just saying you don't. No, like I'm it. not. Yes, you are. No, you're using that tone. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. I just want. Can we do to a known. tone counter on this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be known that it's like to make a little more money. Well, hey, little boy, shut well, your hold, mouth. Hold on. There's okay, and you, little boy, sit down. There's two sides to it. I think. We're getting canceled by Dave for sure on this one. Well, that I mean, well, you're, you're operating. I mean, he's not going to watch the for, whole thing anyway. He's going to take yeah. the clip. He's going to take our clickbait, and he's going to run with it. For it to be a money grab, you have that, that's operating on the assumption that like everybody who qualifies is going to sign up. Rory, which is I already said I'm true. on your side. Chill. <laughs> well, it, hey, it, CrossFit HQ Homer. Exactly. I got. I, that's my. It, <laughs> weren't people? Damn it, Jen. Stay in your man, square, oh, man. <laughs> who let the kids in the room? Jeez. Oh, but I mean, think about villain. think about it, and actually, I wonder if it'll be this way. Like you could you could have signed coffee. up for the open until like the leaderboard was closed. Yeah, that's what I wonder if it's up. like that. Like oh, I wonder I missed if, it. I wonder if you can see the first card dealt for the quarterfinals before you sign up. No, I think a lot of people won't sign up for quarterfinals. So I think I mean, they should. I think everybody should sign up for quarterfinals. I get i i like the I like the way that you said that. Even if it is for money, hopefully it makes the games better with oh, the yeah. money. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I you ju- are. No, I'm yes, saying you that. Are. I just wanted to be up front and say, hey, guys, we're going to let more people into quarterfinals. Why do they need to be up front and tell you no I might, grab? I'd be more apt to sign up. I'd be more apt to sign up. I mean, obviously, I have to sign up no matter You're what. You're signing up no matter what. Shut up. But if I'm like if I'm like 15, I'm at the 15% to 20%. If I'm in that range, I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm not going to you know, I'm not gonna get anything out of this. I don't want to really do it. But then they say, hey, this is going to help out the CrossFit Games. Or like maybe I'm a Masters, and it's going to help out. We're going to get more money for the Masters. They don't or care about the Masters. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think it's. I don't think it's. Yeah, you're I don't, getting canceled. I don't, look, you're done. Oh man! If it's a if it's a money grab, like Give it's, not, it's not only a money grab. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. It's so, so like you can't. Why, why is a company would you come out and be like, oh, this is just for the money? When yeah, yeah, there's yeah. also it's also solving logistical problem that he just pointed out. It's it's more inclusive for the community, but it's less important hey, for the hey, athletes. Hey, they hey, still don't use that word on this podcast. Inclusivity. Sorry, there's a. It's a more adapted. I don't oh, want it. I oh, got my all right. own. All right, all right. You're crying about I, a second ago. I want the I'm more saying money I'm for having games. too much coffee. Oh, I'm not that. crying. I hear that. You're <laughs> crying, and he's crying. I'm <laughs> Rich, trying to moderate Rich, you two. Rich is all hopped up on Jake's uh, nicotine gum. What, Ben? Question from the say. back. I have a... Uh, hey, watch your tone. I, if I've, you're going to use the mic, yeah, watch your tone. Boy. Little I have boy. potentially a hot take in this circle. Oh, here we go again. I think maybe they didn't... They actually didn't do it as a money grab, but for the reasons you're pointing out. And it just so happened oh, that they made more money. Do you know what I'm saying? Wait, are are you agreeing with them? I'm saying that I think there's a chance they did the quarterfinals this way to make the Open more, like, specifically less about the athlete. So you're siding with CrossFit HQ on this, Scott. I can't believe yeah. it. It's all, hang on, I'm piecing Hold on. And I'll also, but here, well, well, here's I what I like. This too. Hold here, on. Hold can on. I say one, one more second, thing? One second, one second. One more thing. No. All right. <laughs> you shut up. This is my podcast. <laughs> yes, anyway. I was hoping you would say something like that. <laughs> I'm actually going to back up Scott on the last one. The whole discussion we had oh, no. about the media passes and all that all came down to the fact that they didn't tell them before tickets sold out. The whole premise of that whole last podcast and Dave saying whatever he wants to say about Scott's tone, all that Scott was truly pissed off about was the fact that they didn't let us know, didn't let us uh, know, didn't let us know that we needed to buy tickets previous to them being sold out. He that's said all. Scott should be thankful that, that he let him know in such no, a timely that's, manner. No, and he didn't. That's which, what he said. I'm I know. <laughs> that's the whole problem. And then he didn't listen to any part of the podcast. And so now we're going to clip this up, and now it's going to end up on the weekend review or whatever the hey, hell while that, we're talking about that it, show's called. You can't bounce hand cleans either. No, they're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, uh, so... The they did. Uh, somebody did in the Golden Barbell competition what? i saw in the hang cleans adler was not adler's hang cleans were true hang yeah. cleans. somebody was like bouncing their hang cleans it was uh fikowski was one of them which is crazy because yeah usually but, long he, people but he's tall do it. but he has a long torso about it's we all about torso about and arm it is like, i don't want to talk about this yeah it's you do so come exhausting. on well let's, there's a way to do it, it legally <laughs> like what if you look at what fikowski was doing his arms were straight every time you yeah, i still off. hate it though no i know but but that's that's fine i'm fine with that but that's i think we should do hang cleans from below the knee all the time 
oh, dude, everyone's back would be broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think it's fine make, if you straighten your arms out, but a lot of people don't, and he just has America's the body where he can Make America's back strong again. <laughs> he and cleans does. below the knees. <laughs> he just Sorry, Scott, I cut you off. You can talk now. All right. Did well, it's kind of it's oh kind of off topic gosh, now. This is I can't even keep up. I know how good is <laughs> <What's> this? <laughs> it's kind of Too off topic coffee. now, but I was saying I think it's good because it shortens the athlete. I mean, you can speak to it, Angela or Rich, but it shortens the competitive I'm not an season. Anymore. So now you don't really have to be super super fit until quarters, yeah. and you don't have to stay. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a longer What's off the season. Percentage that go from quarters to semis. Well, I'm not worried about that. I just want to be in the first heat, though. I'm just uh, asking. V- uh, I mean, I don't know percentage-wise, but... Yeah. 30 teams. The top, four, well, it, it depends on the region, person, right? A number of people. It depends okay. on the region. That's all... Hey, that's all I needed. I wasn't trying to, like, chill out. A very small percentage. Yeah, I was very, yeah. very... Well, I'm, I'm, man, I'm that. all for the quarterfinals being... Let everyone in. Be more inclusive. The only thing I would... To use you're Roy's word. inclusivity guy, I can tell. Yeah, the... Huge uh, inclusivity. You just exude... Who's our DEI person at... Mayhem. Do we have one of those? Josh? Would Josh be him? Probably. Josh would be great at that, actually. Can we... Uh, <laughs> hold on. Can we, can we finish... <laughs> We're canceled Can now. we finish that one, of, can we finish one of these conversations? Was, hey, here's the line. <laughs> I just jumped over it. I would love to finish one I of these met conversations. I Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. That's oh what I thought. We, I thought we were talking God. about NASCAR here, right? What? <laughs> hey, speaking of NASCAR, <laughs> what's in the cup, dude? Everyone, I had the wrong coffee. Everyone was really upset. I was referencing like ball sports in the media. Oh, but, it has to be a ball sport. But we had the realization that NASCAR is a good parallel. You inclusive yeah. bastard. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how NASCAR in treats un- media. Inclusive, but inclusive. We had the realization they Man, they're a good light, parallel. I can't. I can't move. I can't talk. Further. And further. what were you saying? Well, the off. what were you because, saying? Because because NASCAR they have. T- I'm so far over. <laughs> NASCAR, they have teams, but they also they also have drivers within the teams. Remember we talked about that? No. But what people were up in arms that you said balls. Boy, you're getting sweaty, eh? I, yeah. I think I'm going to start sweating. Hey, through. nice shirt, buddy. I know. Oh, hey, big mountain ops guy. Eh? Use we'll, code Angelo. We'll anyway. Big mountain ops guy. <laughs> we'll table that discussion. No, no, no. I, I want to revisit this so well, Rory continues to sweat here. No, no. It was – I'm just saying, like, people commenting. Okay. Um, <laughs> Which I'm actually happy that there you're not a hearing lot of him without takes. seeing his lips. I I like to see. All right, I'm just I like saying. To make like mean, okay, when I'm talking right, to somebody, right, but um, I also have to talk into this damn mic, or else they lose their damn mind because <laughs> they can't do a little work and find another voice uh, option. Go Here, ahead. let me Sorry. let me watch this. <laughs> Why can't we get headphones like that? Oh, look, a matching <laughs> shirt. No, you don't want the headphones. Come show oh, us your really? matching no. shirt. You don't want the headphones. Oh, there you go. How about now? Is this better? I'm good. So you This podcast is off the rails. It's gone. It's gone. I was saying that we'll people that commented it. were saying that ball sports weren't a good comparison for CrossFit media. Yeah. Which the reason, most main reason I did that is because that's what my experience is. But right. you said NASCAR would be a good one you to look at. should broaden your experiences. He loves balls. He just can't. <laughs> loves ball sports. Yeah, I did. Can't get I feel big, big, big ball guy. Sorry. Go ahead. No, that doesn't matter. NASCAR is a team sport. Well, there's teams, but within the teams, there's individuals. Individuals. Yeah. And you were talking about how Ricky has to do all those photos before the race. Oh, it's a nightmare. It was just one of our media office conversations. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, you have teams behind a driver, but you also have multiple teams or multiple drivers on a team. Right. That aren't on a team, but they are on a team. So you'll like see Ricky some. and Cal. Slingshot. Oh, you're talking about Talladega Knights. Nights. Man, that's so <laughs> amazing. Not NASCAR whatsoever. So good, though. Uh, <laughs> so good. But yeah, I get what you're saying. So I don't know how they work anything. <laughs> If and that's why I didn't use it. So Ricky is a single car team, but he's also on a team. But most of those teams him. have team, or most of those drivers have teams, right? Yeah. All, all the drivers technically have a team behind them, but what I'm saying is they're also on, it's really confusing. But yeah, so there's some drivers that have like three teammates that they're racing exam- with. Right, against. like Roush or like Richard Roush, Childers. Oh, uh, it's, it's RFK now, but yeah, Roush. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know all the... Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, we so were, they have media. He was saying that it's kind of like you could treat it almost like their team is like a training camp because the driver is his own entity, like an athlete, but the team is also yeah. their own behind entity them, yeah. behind them. Yeah, Yeah, and they have media allotment per team. But I have no idea how that works, which is why I didn't use that as an example. You should have. You should have researched should have. before you started your little boy rant. That's true. <laughs> with that horrible tone. It's true. Yeah. Little boy. I'm really happy, though, that we got a good discussion out of it, you know? Yeah. But we didn't get any discussion out of it from him. No, I mean in the oh. com. I mean, like, all the feedback yeah, from... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, like, it was talked about for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Plenty of discussion. Got a lot of 
This podcast, though, will go straight to the bottom because there's yeah. nothing of worth whatsoever. This podcast needs to be buried. I think we've covered a lot of great bases. <laughs> I'm real still. It reminds me of the scene in um, Horrible Bosses where they're trying to, like, throw out ideas, and then all of a sudden you're just like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> That's what just happened right there. Um, Brief intermission. Code this Angelo, code Angelo for Mountain Ops. This, this whole thing's been an intermission. <laughs> use, code, use code Angelo for I just want to thank my start? sponsors. If you <laughs> we are 44 minutes in. That's it? Wow. I feel like we've been here for three hours. <laughs> I knew we were doomed when you asked for two jugs of coffee. Well, I thought <laughs> I heard Blake would need some, but I guess not. Guess yeah, not. if you enjoy seeing me on this podcast, if you enjoy you know feeding my family. You use don't even code have Angelo. a family. <laughs> my dog. Oh, all right. Use code Angelo on Mountain Ops. Rich, he makes plenty of money. He doesn't need you to use his code. So, I got, <laughs> you, one, I got one more thing. You throw a bone to the little man. Someone, someone said that I was upset about the the games media access because if you I can't were go, upset. That no, tone. No, if I can't go, it's taking food off my table. But I don't think that's true. <laughs> no, we got plenty of food in the freezer over there. I, I don't think. I don't think that. And just meats. I don't think. That and you I, can live off mountain ops. Yeah. I don't think that if I'm not sitting in the stands filming the CrossFit games, I don't have food on my table. <laughs> so I don't want people to be worried about that. I don't know, Scott. Scott needs food on his table. Yeah. You are going to, like, reduce his pay, though, if he's not getting the great, great shots at the games, right? Yeah, for so, sure. That's yeah. his whole purpose yep. in life is making sure we get yep. those hero shots yep. at the games. Scott. <laughs> Especially mine. Scott's kind of a volunteer for the next year. You figure out a way to get in there. You change your tone. You, you get change, in there. You change you get some your good tone. Shots. You so that way you're included. Child. Okay, so one one thing that uh, I'm hung up on. Can we go back to the cleans thing? I don't understand why oh, it's such no. a big deal. Whoa, watch your tone. I, like I, I like I'm a I'm a bouncer. I'm a I'm a bent arm bouncer. Do you? Yeah. Well, then you're not meeting the not meeting standard. standards. The standard your arms are supposed to be locked down. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe not because it's nasty girls. It's old school, you know. What you bounce on nasty girls? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Dang, you stopped me in my tracks. With that, <laughs> that is the standard. Um, yeah, all right. I guess you're right. I can't even conceive though of like trying to go fast so and, and straight like, and straight my arms every single time. Like, you, like seriously, you bounce on that nasty girls because bouncing didn't exist. I would imagine like what you're so. saying about what um, them bouncing their hand cleans. Yeah, like I, I bet you that. Do you really bounce your hand cleans off your thighs? Yeah. Man, that makes me think way less of you as a human being. <laughs> Bro, hey, somebody, have you ever you, seen you me work out the, at uh, all? You sent the comment where you made the guy that, one of the guys in this chair won their last event that had hand cleans in it. Yeah. The one where I beat Panchik by two seconds, he was bouncing his cleans. Yeah. I actually exactly. won another workout. I think it was two years before that. It was oh. a 2K row, 50 pistols, 30 hand cleans at 225 at semis or regionals, whatever it was called. It was like 2012. 30 power cleans at 230 hang cleans at 225 oh after 50 I think it was 50 pistols or 100 pistols oh maybe gosh. it's like a 2k row that was a, that was a <laughs> that's awful <laughs> that's beat feet yeah that um, was the year before I started watching I guess yeah. then that is awful you were still watching Pokemon and those were good years was, was that Central East that year events, huh? but is that still Central East yeah that was like, Central okay East. yeah Central Beast the Central Beast Central Beast was a, was a junk dude it was a lot be like, hey, let's do an additional live broadcast only from one regional because <laughs> this one's <laughs> awesome. It was so stupid. good. <laughs> so it was, good. I think one year we had five of the top ten athletes at yeah. the games, five or six, because we that was the year we had to take six because they gave Hendren a spot because it was like you well, might as Grant, well. Holmberg. Holmberg. I think they did the past champion thing. Holmberg. No, they they weren't going to. Oh, right. They were like, oh, champions don't <clears> take <throat> a spot, which is dumb. Yeah, no, it, that was another yeah. dumb thing. But anyway, it was me and Graham, and then. Dan, Dan, Hendren, Panchik, Panchik, and then you looked at like you had your ranker who was good in that oh, yeah. region. You Gerald had, Sasser. yeah, you had a bunch of guys that probably should have been at the games and still probably would have been top ten or top yeah. fifteen. Yeah, crazy. There was that one because it was, it was, yeah, it was when we were all within one yeah. tenth of a second. I think. Yeah, it was Hendren who just snuck in, and then he was like fifth. And they the added the spot. Yeah, he yeah. was fifth. He at wasn't the even games. supposed to be there. <laughs> it was like what the yeah. Yeah, all of you are in the top top ten. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. Hendren's a good dude. Whatever happened to Hendren? He still trains with Dan, and he's, he's, a, Dan. he's yeah. a farmer, okay. man. Yeah, yeah. they train. They, they do these five amers. They, yeah, him and Dan, and I think Graham are working out in Dan's barn. Uh, yeah, I think Graham. Yeah, Graham, Graham doesn't Graham go as much, but I think Graham does show up every now and then. Oh, yeah. what a crew! Yeah, yeah. Hendren's uh, he's got like pretty successful. I think like farm uh, stuff, like farms. Like I think they do like a farmers market type thing. And huh. 
co-op type deal. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. I love that too. Cause I was always like, you know, sometimes people like they'll hype it up. They'll be like, Angelo DeChico, the firefighter. I'm uh, sorry. We hyped it up when I was there, <laughs> but it'd be like Marcus Hendren, the farmer. So like, it's great to know he's like actually a farmer. It yeah. wasn't just kind of like, no, he was a real oh, farmer. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. He would, you know, like, I guess, uh, Colton is too, right? Yeah. The pigs, pig farmer. Yep. You know those farmers where they just like give them a T-shirt and they're like, "Hey, stand on this tractor real quick and take a picture." <laughs> yeah, just kidding. You're a real farmer. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's had too much coffee. Let's yeah, move on. The uh, <clears throat> oh, actually, let's spice things back up this way. Here we go. Um, in light of our d- the last discussion that got so much attention about media, et cetera, et cetera, um, Scott, you can start the bidding. How about you grade the live broadcast? Like, what were your thoughts? Oh, here we go. Gosh dang. Um, and I'll be honest. I, I didn't really watch it after they announced I'm, the workout. After they announced the workout, just because I was trying to get everything ready, I could not the, follow where the hell he was going. Well, if the, we're gonna be a hundred percent. I love, I love having Dave announce yeah. the workouts. I'm a one. He's not coming back for the other two. I by hate the way. that. Yeah, I'm one thousand percent in support of it. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about with his Mushroom. chick. I was like, wait, <clears throat> what's the workout? Wait. I wish he would I use s- a whiteboard because at least his chicken scratch would be a little bit more legible. Uh, no, I saw a meme that said. <laughs> I saw what I mean to said. <laughs> he goes, Dave, you want to practice before you go out there? And he goes, no, no. We'll <laughs> but the thing is, is he like practices it a thousand times in his head. If you watch him, Dave, when we sure used to do those announcements, he'd sit there and like do but his. he can't practice writing it. I know, but like, it's yeah. so good. Yeah, he probably could yeah. in his room. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, go, I lo- I'm 1,000% <laughs> in support board. of Dave doing them. I love it. It's so much better when he the does it. Up. But I have no idea what the hell happened oh. there. I was like. He was trying to tie it all back to that mushroom picture, and it was like. It reminded me of uh, Zach Galifianakis when promo. he's coming yeah. down the, the elevator and the numbers and stuff. You're yeah. just like, huh? <laughs> that was actually really funny. In, in, in uh, I think it was behind the scenes. Nina was like, man, I was so scared when he wrote it. And now that I see what it actually is, like, yeah. I'm okay. You know, At the first time, I was like, oh, like we're just doing 21, 15, 21, 15 21. dumbbell yeah. thrusts. Oh, I thought we were doing 21, 21, 21. I, I would have like, been fine with that. Yeah. It would have been better. Three rounds of 21, 20, basically. Yeah. It looked because I had, I had a guy at work who just started CrossFit and he was asking me, he's like, so what is this workout? He goes, I watched the announcement, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I, I hate that he's not doing it, but I liked it. I think like, especially past couple of years, this is, this is the best one they've done um, in, in a minute. And probably Dave's presence had something to do with it, yeah, but sure. it's a good storytelling in there. It was good hype. Um, I did the golden barbell thing. What the hell are theory you theory is a cool barbell? idea. In actuality, it wasn't that cool of an idea. They should have started with the open workout. Right. Because why the hell am I going to kill myself? I mean, even it's nasty girls. And then, I mean, they, you saw what they did with the squat <coughs> clean thruster. Hey, what, mailed it in a little what bit. is this golden? What are you talking about? I don't know. They want a golden barbell. They so, did three workouts. Yeah. Instead of just doing the open announcement the day before they did nasty girls yeah. in like a competition atmosphere. And then yeah. the like, morning of. The, no, like. 40 minutes before they did, they did, they did the another five three. minutes of the squat clean thruster. They did, what, oh. but they all did it one rep on the 15 seconds or something like that, or 10 seconds. So it was like, nobody Sounds gave a awful. shit, you know? So one it would have been, seconds. it's a cool idea. Start with open workout. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm not going to sell my soul, even though it is an open workout. Out. And I'm, but you still, there's part of you. It's like, I don't want to look like a jackass in front of, Thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, <laughs> do five minutes of squatting thrusts. <laughs> yeah. right and I don't, I do an open and I don't know what you the don't workout's going to be. be yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so someone want to just start it like do a like a op- or an imbi- you love the invitational format. Have them do the open workout. Give smash them an hour em. rest. Do the next workout. Give them an hour rest. Do I the remember watching the invitation. Yeah. You guys would come out just smash, <laughs> smash. <laughs> it's still, it's like wait, they're going again. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> they're like oh, turn around's this. You're like wait, what? I remember. <laughs> Cara Saunders snatching to warm up and she PRs her snatch in the, in the warm up in the warm up area and then didn't hit it on the yeah. floor. You're just like, ah, oh. so yeah, that's so good. The good old days. Invitational was awesome. Yeah, Invitational she, I think she was. snatched 225. Was I think yeah. that was, it was a huge it was deal. Huge. Everybody's freaking out and you're like, <clears> well, <throat> good. Cause she's only going to snatch 210 out yeah. there. You know, like <laughs> your nervous system just dumps after that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, surprise. Yeah. I mean, that's that's rough. That's a rough hand to get dealt to be like, hey, we're going to put you on stage. You're going to be on a live broadcast. Yeah. You're going to do this. Yeah. I, like I said, it's a cool idea <laughs> and would be cool. In a different, just, in a different just time and place. Just yeah, reverse right it. Yeah. yeah. No. You don't well, even have to time and place it. Just reverse the like. But even then, I think like you've, you've lost your audience and like what are the athletes plugged in for then? Like, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, are you still, I don't know. I would, I yeah. think if I got the open workout done and now I'm <coughs> done, you know, like now it's like, all right, I've got, I didn't even Today know what was really going on. Tomorrow. Like I, I yeah. saw the videos, but I didn't know. What, well, you already what have was people happening. on there watching it. You might yeah. as well. You just keep the. Yeah. Keep do it. Yeah. Do invitational style where it's like. Yeah. It's like, all right. All right. We're going to do the open workout rest, first. We're going to do. Because most people, you know, like us, we do have people doing it right then, which you might have some people doing it right then. But most people. Everybody's kind of in the that, mood yeah. to like watch people work out. It's like, all right, you could do a, you know, even within an hour. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're doing the workout. They got 15, 20 minutes to get ready for the next work. Just bury them. Bury them. I don't know. Yeah, love it. That's just my opinion. It's always fun to watch. The I'm good, sorry if my tone was too. The aggressive. good news that came out of it is your, your time stands the test of time. You, you the squat clean thruster. You, you were the winner of that workout oh, that oh. year. Was I? You know? Nice. When, when was that? It was the first 11? time I ever wore old shoes. Was it eleven? Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. We did the APC. It was like yeah. me, Henry, Henry posted Easy. a video of it. Yeah. Of you guys doing it together. Yeah. I've got a great video of that I did it in my backyard with metal plates. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. Just, that's dude, cool. just kept digging down, yeah. digging down, digging down. So I was like cleaning it off my toes. That's awesome. With straight arms at that time. Straight arms. Yeah. Oh, because it wasn't a hand clean though. Yeah, so correct. Your correct. front rack looked like dog shit in that video too. It was dog <laughs> shit. Catch <laughs> <you> like this. <laughs> so good. Catch it like right in the middle of your chest, elbows down. <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> that's why I'm. But you had only shoes on, yeah. Yeah. But that was. It was the that's first Reebok only shoe. No, it was. I don't think you were wearing them. Was, I think you were wearing them. Oh, that was the original. I remember oh, they sent them to me to test them for. Oh, the really? Workout. Yeah. I thought it looked like the. Or sent them to me that morning or something, and they that happened to be the workout. Oh, so you're like, oh yeah, I was new, like, yeah, shoes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new shoes, yeah, new shoes, lifting feet. workout, you feel like eagle claw feet when you get done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the old APC. I had those. those I had those nano ones for probably six years. Yeah, these were the they were bomb. The Reebok Olympic lifting shoes. Oh, Olymp- Okay. Yes, yeah. it was like when I used to wear Olympic lifting shoes. Yep. When it had a zig in the back. Yeah, it did kind of have yeah. a weird zig in the back. Yep. Dre sold Black me a pair white. and then bought them back for me. <laughs> did you make any money on them? Uh, no, but I think he did. I think he made money on them. Oh, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. He sold them. They were green. He still has them, I think. Oh, wow. I remember those green ones. They were ugly as shit. Oh, I love them. Yeah, of course. You Army did. green. Oh, they're, they're army like green. Army. I thought they were the neon green ones. They gave oh, us no, 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 no. The ones that Todd always wore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were some bad color years. Yeah. There were some bad color years. <laughs> yeah. The neon, the teal years were the worst. The teal yes. year was yeah. the worst. And then the, like, I get some of them in California were, you know, like California yeah. colors. Yeah. But then you'd come home and you're like, oh, the orange. Yeah. Damn, the orange was yeah, not uh, good. What is it? Neon cherry. Is that what they called it? Electric chair? Uh, something oh, like that. Like, yeah. I get the fact that, hey, something you want bright. people to see colors, and you're like, oh, what is that? You know? But yeah. then when you come home, you're like, oh, man. Yeah, sometimes. But like, there's, there's literally, like, sometimes, like, my favorite running shoe for, like, running companies, they just use the weirdest color yeah. schemes where you're like, dude, yeah, no. Like, black I love the shoe, but it, I'm right? not going to buy it. Yeah. Or I'll spray paint it or something. I know how that goes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> 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 yeah, you do. All right, so if okay, so or wearing un- your games jerseys around town all the time. What? Nothing. That's inside <laughs> joke. You remember when the seminar staff jerseys? They were awesome when they were just like black Red. with blue letters. Oh. And then they made the weird orange like it was like an Adidas like weird fitting. I was pre to me. Oh, bro. I didn't get to wear the Adidas. It was terrible. I was straight Reebok. It was red shirt when okay. I was seminar staff. This, this is this is kind of. I don't know if I should share this or yeah, not. Yeah, share it. Okay, so it was actually <laughs> we'll after, up after I moved again. here, like it was still in my closet. And so, you know, you do dumps every once in a while of, of T-shirts. Somebody found it at Goodwill, yes, didn't they? <laughs> saw, somebody wearing, saw somebody wearing an orange seminar staff T-shirt <laughs> in downtown Cookville. Oh, Cook and Bill? she was not a CrossFitter. And I was like, far out. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, girl. That's cool. Yeah, it was great. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> all right. So knowing like all the context that we've given about, like, you, you like the quarterfinals slash open thing, whatever. Um, what do you, do you guys think that the rest of the two weeks is going to be sort of like, I, can't, I guess we can call this low skill, right? AOA so like, workouts? Sure. I can't wait for people. Very to general. Try to figure out in the comments what yeah, AOA means. Very general fitness. The six people that watch this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's called what it is. It's the open. It's a community event. It's fine. <clears throat> I just, it was just like a workout for me. And it's not like, I'm just talk, speaking from my experience. I'm not like projecting who I am over the whole. Yeah. I've been doing CrossFit for a long time, 14, 15 years. It's just not a workout where I'm like, oh, this is fun. I want to push. Yeah. You know, and then they're not all supposed to be like that. I was just like, meh. Yeah. Good. Did so. you still find like, okay, so 
scores don't matter. You're not, you're not, are you submitting scores? Nope. You're on the leaderboard? Okay, so you're not on the leaderboard. Did you still find, though, that you, was it another gear? Like, because it was kind of, I know it's, I know it's not competition floor, but it was competition floor. Oh, I did it with the life class and AJ. <laughs> AJ just, he, who said he tried to keep within a minute of you and just killed himself. AJ was going hard. It was fun to watch. I could see him out of the corner of my eye. But I didn't, I wasn't going to do it. And then Scott, so. They're begging you. They're begging me. <laughs> and, you know, I'm back and forth. I don't want to do it. This is kind of a dumb workout for me. So it was, I just didn't want to do it, right? Feels very COVID year type workout. Dumbbell burpees, <laughs> like, or a travel workout that I've done a thousand times, right? Yep. So I'm like, nah, I don't know. I don't really want to do it. I'm sitting there out in the gym, and I'm, I'm warming up. I'm thinking about, all right, let me just see. I'll do it, and then we'll do something else, right? I get a Venmo request for $1,500 from Ben Davidson. <laughs> and it says, the money we will miss out on YouTube <laughs> in seven minutes or whatever, you know. <laughs> And I'm like, that doesn't work Solid. because it's still my money. <laughs> so it's really thirty five or three thousand dollars I'm losing if yeah. I don't do the workout, and I have to pay Ben fifteen hundred dollars. Good <laughs> tactic, bro. And you still didn't pay me. So what a I good denied tactic. the request, <laughs> and I did the workout. So yeah, no, why I, would I, I pay you? If you want to be correct, I texted you before. I said, do you think you're being soft? <laughs> what did I say? Do I ignore it's you? Not, it's not camera appropriate. <laughs> um, and then and then you I'll let you know and then I sent the Venmo request and then you replied you replied to the Venmo and it's then you my went money back anyway. to the message it's my money and I need it now <laughs> I need it now oh yeah that's not camera worthy let me see it <laughs> <laughs> I said probably and I have there you go nothing to prove but an expletive <laughs> in there <clears throat> so but it worked because you did it yeah, you, you're the only reason. No, actually, the only person I did it for was Scott. I knew I had you hook, line, and sinker when you asked me to make that Yeti. <laughs> oh, because yeah. Because there was I no way you were going to. I said, hey, I don't have a shaker. Scott, do we have any Yeti in the back? Because mine was out in my bag. And he's like, yes. I said, put two scoops in it. And me and you're AJ supposed shared, to share but I think with I, AJ. But I think I drank three quarters of it. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the workout, in like the 15s, I started like losing feeling in my legs. Like the tingle, you know, like you get the full like beta tingle. It was like from here down. I felt nothing. It was awesome. Um, this is so off topic, but I, I, I finally that's tried this, that. That's uh, the name of this podcast. Well, the, I, I, I finally tried the, I don't do pre-workout much anymore, but that Ignite product is the yeah. junk for like, just for work. Oh yeah. Like, I've never, I haven't done a ton of Ignite. Yeah, um, then, you know, yeah, it's like basically yeah. like nootropics awesome. plus caffeine. Yeah. So it's more of like a concentration thing. Yeah. I can't wait for Yeti with no caffeine. Yeah. Because that's what I want in the afternoon. I've tried yeah. to limit caffeine to the morning, obviously. Um, way too much today. Yeah. But yeah. Really brings out my ADHD. Me too. I can't. Bad. So you just get like the, the beta? They'll have just Yeti. The they'll be non-stem <laughs> beta. Okay. Um, right now, it's they use, they have Enduro. Yeah, enduro doesn't have it doesn't have any. It's no it's like stimulants good. or. Yeah. or well, but I still want no the beta, beta, you know. Yeah, because like. the the um, I don't understand everything that's in it, but I know it has like black pepper ex extract, which yep. is a vasodilator. To, yep. So and then nitric oxide, yeah. similar NO explode. Yeah, yep. remember those days? Yep. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You yeah. do. I the, do. The vasodilation. It does. It it does enough. Like when I'm trying not to have caffeine, it. it gets me going enough but i do like caffeine yeah for the for the kids that weren't around before uh like the government discovered that gnc was killing people yeah <laughs> <laughs> like those products used to be the what shit. was uh when c4 was real c4 well, it was like real ephedrine in it yeah. you know like seriously <laughs> people were dropping dead um but man was it a good rush yeah good had time. some killer workouts there's this scott what's that who's that guy who did all the pre-workouts and like Jack 3D was like low on oh it was Jack oh. 3D that's what Jack uh, 3D wasn't even that bad you're talking about the Jesse James West video yeah where he did he he tracked down all those banned pre-workouts and tried them again yeah yeah and Jack 3D was like wasn't that bad compared to a couple of them <laughs> hell yeah he'd go like black market to find like two of them because the they can't web. make them anymore the dark web a lot of, a lot of things we've tried as a country <laughs> uh, a lot of things we're still doing as a country <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, That's another I've got podcast. a good yeah, it is. I've got a it good is. segue right now. And, um, and hunting is bad. It's not a good. It's not a good segue if you say food. I have a good segue. Well, you, you guys just, just keep talking about this, so I had to. For twenty four point two, do we think it's a fact there's going to be lunges? Why? Where is it? Is there a? That, well, you know the Madeira's clip where you following he, Dave. No, no, no. The Madeira's clip where he said something about he didn't think 
that they'd be able to do the workout at his house because of the 25 feet for lunging. Mm. Do you think he actually meant 25 feet for lunging literally? Or do you think he just meant that? He doesn't know the workout. The that's what everybody wants to like. That oh, the athletes, athletes know the workout. Know. I've done what? Four now? No, they definitely eight don't. announcements. I don't even know how oh. many I've done. But why did he say 25 feet for lunging? I'm just meaning, meaning like. like movements, I'm sure they asked him for if there's 25 foot sections. And so he just assumed lunging, you think? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what happens when you assume though? I call him. I, I was going to say, you got his number? Oh, I think uh, what he meant is just that 25 feet maybe is on the equipment list. Yeah. I think that's. But a lot of people thought he literally meant lunging. Yeah. And that he probably just said it. and then Which is weird, too, because I'm sure they had, garbage. like, he probably supplied them with, like, a diagram of the building. Yeah. You know, they could have known if there was 25 feet or not. Hmm. Interesting, Scott. Interesting. It's him and, and the Mert, right? Yep. Yeah. And the Mert. Is I just got a. People call him? I don't know. Hey, I think is this Ri- hi there? Is this that? Richard? Don't answer. Fishing? No, I did. I said never heard of her. And then it says, "I'm Stacy. Just had a question about your home at 601 Rich Froning Way. If you were able to get the right price, would you be open to listing it with our agent?" Dude, we're, sell- said, we're selling. We're selling mayhem. Him, we're selling I mayhem. Said, I said, "You realize it's not a home. It's a 25,000 square foot gym with a coffee shop. I'll take 10 million dollars." <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What if, they <laughs> what if they offer? I'm in. All right. Sorry, guys. You're out of a job. All good, man. I'll, I'll work out of the barn. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. One year's salary and then just. <laughs> you're on your good. way. Yeah. It's on called a way. severance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> severance package. I'll give you some barbells and plates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's, um, who's this guy? We got, we got friends in town. Got friends in town. I mean, Elite Josh Archery. Bergeron's here. Everyone yeah, knows yeah, who yeah, he is. Hunt. Elite Archery. Elite Shoot Archery. Some Bows the next couple of days. We're teaching He's us how to, to use our equipment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we actually equipment. know what to do. Yeah. Shorten my draw length by what? It'll be it'll be a whole inch or three quarters of an inch for sure. So. And then that's did you guys? Lot. That's hey, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. We didn't follow up on this, but you guys saw that Cam tried to replicate my door shot, but he missed, and he went through his window instead. Yeah. I thought he was a professional. Right. Not as good as everyone thinks. I know. Not as good as everyone thinks, man. You know? (laughs) Here I am, just just a rookie, and just nailed it. Somebody the other day was like, hey, why did Rory shoot his door? I'm like, well, (laughs) he's an idiot. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, what's funny is that, like... uh, What would have been so good is if we didn't put that block in there, like I said. I know, dude. That That would have went right through the other door. Huge regret, actually. (laughs) And it's funny now, because, like, uh, with, like, other parents and stuff who watch the podcast... It's like a tourist attraction now. Like, people love looking at my door. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Until it rusts. For I guess. Now. Yeah. I guess out, uh, out by his old house, there's, like, this little car museum. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, with the you mater. park it out there. Yeah. yeah. There's, like, if you go ever drive by, there's, like, four or five cars there, and it's, like, a like a drive through museum kind of thing. I don't know. Huh. But you should park your truck there. When you when you get rid of it and get a new truck, you just park it there and leave it there for everyone to look at. You just leave the door? Just the door, yeah. It just would be door. fun, though, also, by the way, to get a couple of junkers or something, like just some fun target practice. You know, like everyone's... But the problem heads. is it's going to ruin ruin your arrows. Every <laughs> shot's going to ruin an arrow. Rip, rip your uh, fletchings yeah. off. Yeah. And we're not that good to yeah, do I our need, fletchings yet. Yeah, I ruin enough arrows on my own. Don't we know, any, don't we know any arrow companies? Working on it. Like... We're working on it. Couldn't somebody just supply us with a bunch of junk arrows? That we hey, that's just, not good for the environment. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, environment. Um... Well, <laughs> where, where do we go from here? I don't know. <laughs> We've been doing this long enough. Did we Scott, close all man. the loops? Did we? Uh, yeah, we finished everything that we started. Close enough. Close yeah. enough. What, I don't uh, even know what I think oh, we talked I, about. I, the only, the only, I blacked out there for a little while. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you've you been, um, I mean, we all know all the backstories and stuff, but like you've been some snide remarks here and there. Dave Castro this, Dave Castro that. He kind of put up a he put up a clip of our podcast said it was trash, um, <laughs> which it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you He's can't hate not him. Not wrong. But what was weird in that one is that he tagged your dad, which I thought was strange. Like why? All right. Well, so that the, was that was caused by Richard it was Scott. caused by dad. Yeah. Well, it was caused by I know, Scott, so that was, the that little was, boy. That was Scott, a segue without me boy. saying this is a segue. All right. So me and yeah. Dave, nice work. Go Thank way you. back. Way back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how. Uh, <laughs> On you go. Yeah. I'm, it's it's just, I think it's friendly banter. I don't yeah. know about Dave. Yeah. <laughs> it's just our side. But I think people um, would appreciate knowing why your dad was <laughs> So what happened? Here's the story. So what had happened was <laughs> Dave, 
did his, is it Weekend Review? Weekend Review. I don't watch his shit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he doesn't watch yours either. I know. He so just it's mutually, we're mutually not watching each other's things, except for we pull stuff completely out of context from each other and then talk shit about each other. So, um, I've watched so, a few of them. The tone is fantastic. The tone. And so, basically, he pulled a, we threw out a clickbait, clickbait e clip. piece, which... Everybody knows that's the world we live in. That's all people are going to watch are the clickbaity stuff. So we did that. And look at that. Killed There's it. More over here. And you guys crushed that. In thing. the process of that, he did another clickbaity thing. And Sevon pulled it, right? Is that kind of how it goes? And Dad. No, oh, sorry. sorry. In the weekend in review, Dad commented because he watches those things. He loves it, right? So he yeah. watches and loves to, you know be a part of the community my dad's been around for a long time with us and obviously it was also later in life it was and also later in the evening when he replied it was to later it. in the evening <laughs> um and so he commented back to dave well then i think text dave dad sent, showed us all the the, the and thread. Sevon. and seven put him and seven in the <laughs> seven never talks <laughs> and dave dave goes pretty hard at dad thinking dad is me <laughs> and uses a tone in his text message, which we all know you can get tones from text messages pretty easily. And so in the process of that, realizes it's not me texting him that my, it's actually in fact my dad, and then apologizes to dad, but then tries to defend why he was going <laughs> the way he did. It's pretty funny little text. The, the best part of the whole thing is like, uh, God, what's the Larry David show? Um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm. It was almost like a scene out of Curb Your Enthusiasm because, like, Dave's out of context with Senior. Senior doesn't know what the hell Dave's talking about <laughs> because he thinks that he thinks that he's him. <laughs> and then he's coming back at him with that, and then Dave realizes it's him, and it was like... It and was, then Sevon never comedy. says a word, and Dad says something to the effect of, Sevon, just keep your mouth shut or <laughs> if he's don't share he, this yeah, or something he, yeah. like that. And Sevon's like, I'm not saying a word because I have a big mouth, basically. <laughs> it was pretty good. It's It's... Pretty comical. We might one day share it because it's that funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. And uh, one one other story, and you can I'll, I'll I'll be vague, and you can tell me if you want to talk about it or not. First is that we can be specific that um, Lakeland won the championship, which oh, is yeah. radical City in basketball League championship. But it was also a very interesting game for other reasons. Yeah. Um, there was somebody that was being very loud about. The referees at an and eight you for people that aren't here like when I, and I'm you know there was a brawl last year between some parents people and take a coach. Oh, yeah. people take sports Hell way yeah. serious. too serious and I, and hey I love watching my kid yeah. and I love I just it's awesome it's been awesome to see her you know like I coached Trice I coached her in softball but those sports kind of like at that age don't have a ton of like up close and personal you know, not contact but just like. Yeah. Watching Lakeland, and I'd, I'd never really played basketball, but watching her, like, come into her own from the first game to the whatever game they were on and, like, watch her be aggressive. And she's an athlete, which, yeah. I mean, every parent says that about their kid. But she can track a ball really well for her age. She catches well. She But, like, to see the aggression come out and some attitude, see a little bit of myself, you know, like, hey, maybe she did pick up a little bit of, you know, a yep. little bit of that from me, which is cool. And so <clears throat> you get really into that, right? And I'm not one of those, like, I'll yell for my kid. I'm not mm -hmm. going to yell at anybody else's kid. I'm not going to yell at the refs. Yeah. And again, more, more context. It is 8U basketball. You can yeah. call a travel, a walk, a block, a charge. You could call any foul on any play yeah. that is going on. So there's this. You're not watching the WNBA. No. And just like in Central Tennessee, like where I grew up in Texas, like hey, football, don't open that door for football me. was it. What? Uh, nothing. All, all I was gonna say is like basketball is the junk here. Like yeah, people yeah. take basketball real serious, serious yeah. and and yeah, Rich isn't joking that last year there was like a fist. There was fight a brawl and a dude choking somebody out at a at a seven U game. Hell okay. yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, is there a video? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's a cell phone shaky video, but it's all so I need. I'm sitting there with my our crew, our support staff for Lakeland, and there's another group above us up to the right, and they're just being obnoxious, yelling at the refs, yelling at like yelling at our girls or other girls and it's just like and everybody's huffing and like tired of it right and I'd had enough and I didn't yell I didn't I was just like hey uh, have you yell. heard this yet <laughs> no I, I was right. like awesome. hey I don't really know what I said oh, other yeah. than the the premise was 
<laughs> it's AU basketball. You could like stop yelling at the refs. There's a penalty on every single play. You're like could Kevin you... Hart when his mom says he can say a cuss word to his teacher. <laughs> yeah. My mom <laughs> told me to tell you. To... So, but no. So I'm like, hey, just stop. Like you could call a penalty on every single play. Yell for your kid. Please, please be quiet. Or, you know, like I, it wasn't. You're a bad example multiple, and you're ruining this for everybody. I've had, yes. I've had yeah. multiple people say, thank you yeah. for saying that. And like people that came up to me later that were like, hey, I wasn't with them. I was just sitting near them. You know, like that yeah. type of deal. <laughs> and, and I guess this, it was, he was a younger, he was old enough to like 18, 17, 18, something like that. I don't know anything about, I was just like, we've all had enough, like everything's this and the mom and step grandma or whoever, or everybody's going, and you're just like, guys. And so the uncle or somebody got mad and, oh, you know, you're just because you're rich froning and you work out for a living, that whole deal with an Austin, my brother-in-law, oh, no. knows that I can't do anything a, in that situation. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't do anything in that situation. I'm not going to end up on the internet fighting somebody. And it, there, it wasn't fighting worthy. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. not. Yeah. It was an 8U basketball game. So Austin gets in it with this guy, and I'm like, Austin, just sit down. Tyler's there. Christopher, and you could tell he was like, what the hell is going on? It was just, it got way overblown, and it ended up fine but at first you're just like man I just want to watch my kid yeah and that was the first game of three that we ended up playing that day so it was and then we had no issue at any other game but and the, like the dude waited outside and stuff like yeah. he was he was waiting outside for austin we we're just like man come on and austin was like dude he's made, made a, he made austin a made a ready. veiled threat like you know yeah. <laughs> so it, was, um, it got serious and i think you and then I, bailey saw the guy at church on sunday so Nice. <laughs> you and I both know I would have started swinging for you. Oh, I know. I know. I, and when, that's the hard. Oh, I wish. I was what did there. I say? I wish yeah, I was oh, there. He said, "I wish Scott was there, not just for the camera, but just for Were you the." There? No, oh, I just no. heard about it. It would have turned into flag football. Yeah, all over again. Scott oh, takes it to level ten. <laughs> yeah. it was oh like I said. Gosh, it's I way I overblown. It was not like I did not threaten the kid's life or anything. I was just like, "Hey, man." We're your, trying to watch your tone game. was good. Yeah, my tone was real good. Oh, yeah. that was what it was. Yeah, it was tone. my tone. Yeah. It was a little. I, I, I do have a loud voice, and it yeah. carries, and you know, and it's me. You check that tone, you little boy. Yeah. So yeah, when we first moved here, um, Coco was playing for Seth Gilbert, <laughs> and at two games, Seth got kicked out of. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Where are we? What's happening?" He's just like so six good. at the time, you know. So good. Um, yeah, it's a little bananas, but yeah. I was proud. The whole, the whole story made me really happy. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming to the rest of Lakeland's games. Like, always. Yeah. Yep. It was, yeah, I, I need mean, a schedule. It was cool watching the games. Her, like I said, just to see that, like, competitiveness come out of her. The, like, the, from the first game, she'd never played. She'd only been to one practice because it was, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And then to see who she was at the end of the season, I mean, it's your kid. It's awesome. Yep. You know, it's great. anybody else can be like, it wasn't that cool, but it was pretty freaking cool. Oh, it's awesome. You got to tell the story about the trophy with Trice, too. Oh, yeah. Trice were sitting there and they're doing the award ceremony and uh, <laughs> it's bad parenting. Um, <laughs> Trice is like, wait, she gets a trophy? I said, yeah, that's what happens when you win, son. Because <laughs> he got a medal last year. They got a medal. Every team yeah. gets a medal. They were dead last. We won one game. They get put out in the <laughs> tournament. And so he... Uh, <laughs> Like we go out to the outfield and tell the kids all congratulations and stuff, which you should. Hey, good season. They they played hard, whatever. And the other team comes out while they get the awards. And Trice like, how come they didn't get a medal? I was like, oh, they'll get a bigger one. And he's like, I hate this medal. <laughs> and so there we go. They yeah. have definitely learned, I have some, they have definitely learned a I've lot. I've looked from back them. at some, you know, parenting moves. Did I tell you about the Halloween candy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. It. It's a good lesson. I don't know if I've ever told this one in public. Screw it. We'll get canceled. We're already already and so yeah halloween kids we do our candy thing all three of them come in i'm like all right put your candy on the, the counter and they're like all right cool so i take four piles i take about 40 percent pull it here no i take yeah we'll say 40 percent, and i give them each a third of what's left and they're like oh cool but what's what's with the big one and i throw it in the trash i was like it's called socialism <laughs> and lakeland goes socialism sucks and i was like there we go so there you go now we're canceled for sure yeah you're teaching man teaching. <clears throat> yeah so yeah brainwashing brainwashing as some may say uh radicalizing i believe is what they call it now is that what we call it radicalizing yeah. so Radical yeah. <laughs> all right well on that note we might Pretty see good. you next week uh -huh. we might not <laughs> <laughs> so it might burn the barn down. <laughs> the gym for sure. Uh, yeah. Hell, it might be sold by then, so yeah. we'll, we'll see. No response. Fire $10 everyone. million, dollars, huh? Um, 
justmeats.com slash discount slash froning. Yeah, that's right. it. All right. Angelo, use code Angelo. Mountain Ops. Mountain Ops. All right. Peace. Yeah.